Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Today I want to introduce you to a brand new collection under the brand textures. So this is designed by myself. Hi, I'm Lou Collin, in case you've uh, only just stumbled across my channel. I design for the brand textures. It's my own brand. Um, we've got lots and lots of different collections under the range, um, but this one is the newest. So this one is just coming out. It's literally probably just available right now as this video goes live on uh, Thursday the 2nd of January 23. Um, you can find all the details on where to browse and purchase this down below, both in the UK and in the US. This is officially launching on Craft Stash on Friday the 3rd at 12.30, so if you want to see some demonstrations, please do join me there. So let's take a look at what we've got within this collection. Now you can see some examples already, and you may have gathered we've got a bit of a floral theme going on this time. So this is all based around magnolias. The collection is called Magnolia Drive. Now, the reason for this is because I absolutely love magnolias. I think they're a beautiful flower. I um, was really obsessed when I found some on my honeymoon uh, in St. Lucia. I thought they were stunning, they were huge. Um, I didn't realise that in my village there was a road called Magnolia Drive and there's a magnolia plant or tree in every single garden, or there was when houses were built at least. So um, yeah, they were right on my doorstep all this time. So we are going to start with the very first item and this is a stamp and die coordinating set. So you're going to get not only the stamp to create a beautiful magnolia image, but it's also a half tone stamp. So this just means that when you stamp the image, you're going to get um, like shading already incorporated into it. So you can see that that is basically, this is how the image will print. If I just take this out of the wrapper there. It's actually made up of lots and lots of little dots. So even just with one impression, you're going to get the shading technique. If I just show you a couple of cards quickly, that's the effect you get. Never mind the outline, we'll come to that in just a moment, that is included in this set. But just looking at the background colour, so adding that colour, getting the watercolour effect, um, and getting all the shading and the tones in without needing to be an artist at all. Now what you've also got in this collection is then the dye that coordinates with this. So you've actually got two dies with this. So you've got the outline and that cuts everything out for you with a slight border. And then you've got the detail. The detail is absolutely stunning. So if I just bring in one of the die cuts for you, you can see what you're cutting out. It's beautiful. It's very, very delicate, honestly amazing. I really, really love that. Now this perfectly overlays the stamped image. As you can see here, I've done it with some mirror card. You can see how that has just perfectly laid over the stamp. We've also got here, just in white, just outline. It gives it a really modern contemporary feel. You can do it in black. Here I've got the outline in black. I've paper pieced back in with gold and then I've used the solid outline to mat everything onto, just to lift it up off that black background there. So this is the stamp and the dies all together in one set. It just coordinates. Now both the stamp and the die can be used equally as well on their own. You don't have to use them together. We'll go through a few more cards in a moment using this collection too. So that's the main, what I call the hero piece, the main piece of this entire collection. Then to complement that we've also got some leaves. So we've got different shaped leaves, different styles here, different sizes. Now they are much much larger than you see on the front of the packaging. You can see you've got five different designs there and again these are half tone. This just means that you're going to get all of that shading in there. Um, let's take a look and see if I can find you. Here we go. Here's a card where I've used one of the smaller ones. And you can see the shading, the light and dark that we're getting within the stamp. That is created using the with the little dots that are on there. So really quick, simple technique for you uh, that makes you look like a professional artist when adding shading and tones, but you're actually not. You're just simply stamping. And then we've also got in here the dies that coordinate. So these are all of your, there's one of my stamps. These are all of your outline dies. They cut perfectly. Now, what I love about this as well is that they actually cut out uh, right to the edge. So if I just show you this one, so this is one where I've stamped, I've got the shading. I stamped it onto white so you can clearly see the highlights in there, but it stamps all the way to the edge. So you haven't got to think about um, having that border to have to snip around afterwards. Now, you can use these with the stamp, the dies with the stamp, or you can use them separately. So as with the magnolia, um, the flower there, the flower stamping die set, you can use both of these on their own. So here is a card where I've just used the leaves on their own. 
Um, so a leaf spray is always really, really handy. It covers a multitude of different occasions. So you'll be using that all the time. I've got another one just here to the side. There we go. Um, so just using the largest uh, leaf spray there. So you're going to use this all the time. It's gonna be such a versatile die set to have in your stash. Now uh, let's come to this one in a little while actually. I'm going to pop that one down underneath. So just a little bit of a sneak peek, but let's come to the washi sheets because the washi sheets are coordinating with the stamp and die set. So uh, both the leaves and the magnolia as well. So if I just open this up, you can see you've got one here. What you've got is various sheets. You've got eight different sheets and they are all different designs. Let's open it the right way up. So these are nice clean sheets to show you, but it means none of the packaging is open yet. You have two of the magnolia sprays on each sheet. Now bear in mind, if you make smaller cards, you can simply cut these down. You can actually tear this, being washi sheets, you can tear these, they are adhesive as well. Um, I'll just show you that in a moment, but you can use any part of this image. So if you make smaller cards, even smaller than this, you don't have to use the entire image, you can just use part of it. So don't think, oh, that's such a large image, I don't know whether I'll make such big cards. By all means, snip areas off, just use parts of them if you want to. You can see you've just got one little head there of the flower, you can just use that if you wished. So looking at the washi sheets, first let's look at the colours. So we've got all of these different colours in the magnolia floral sprays. So you've got the peaches and the pinks there and the purples too. Absolutely love these. So you've got your five different colours there. And then we've got three different colours. Well, we've actually got um, six because we've got half of each sheet is a different green. So we've got different greens in the leaves. Now all of these are die cut already. Okay, so even including the leaves as well. With the flowers, just show you quickly, they are all adhesive, so you just gently peel away. So they die cut around the edge for you, as you can see there. So you could just simply pop that onto your project and use that on its own. So I've got a card here where I've just done exactly that. I've just used those in the background. I've actually been able to tear them where I need so that I don't need to think about having to trim around the design. It just tears beautifully. I'll just show you like so. Everything's adhesive on the sheet, so if you want to use the outside excess washi, clear washi afterwards to do designs with, with your mixed media and things, of course you can. Uh, but those alone, if you're not into stamping, you're not into die cutting, the washi sheets are going to be really, really handy for you. As I say, even with the leaves, these are also adhesive. So and they have tones in them. So if I just take one of these and gently lift it up, so just pulling it away from the backing sheet. They are very delicate because they are washy. So just pick this up. There we go. And let's pop round on the back of this card. And just lay that down so you can see. I like to let washy just fall where it wants to and then gently place it down. What you'll see, you have a translucency about the design. You've got the shading in there. It lays absolutely perfectly flat as well. So you can build up your own backgrounds, your frames, borders if you want to. They can be a focal piece. If you're over in the US at the moment or anywhere where postage is much higher than in the UK, and things like thickness and weight on your cards is really important to you, these are going to be absolutely perfect for building colour and designing your backgrounds. So as I say, with this one, it's really, really a flat card. I have added a frame, but you don't have to add that with the foam, with the dimension, you can put that flat on. Uh, really simple card using the washi sheets. Now, in addition, the washi sheets also work really well, or perfectly in fact, with the die. So the stamp and die set that we looked at first, if I, you just have a look, that outline goes around there perfectly. Now let's go for a gold. This always looks absolutely stunning. So I've got a gold die cut here of the first item we looked at. Um, that's that way around. There we go, look at that. It sits so perfectly over the washi sheets. Gorgeous. And if I just place this onto a piece of white, you can see how you can even use that just on its own. Everything works on its own, but it also complements other items in the range. Now talking about complementing, we've also got some stencils. Now because Textures brand is all about building up 
texture and dimension um, these are essential for me in every collection to have something that's going to build up your backgrounds for you use them with texture paste um, use them with your ink blending as well to create really gorgeous backgrounds um, I did have a card I have to dig it out where are you I think it's hiding at the moment but had some perfect stenciling on it. You'll see that at launch on Friday on Craft Stats if, if you catch me there, but I'll try and recreate it as a video here for you as well. I've actually got a little bit of the stenciling. Rather than doing it, well, I have got it in the background there as well. That's the damask. But I've also got it within the flowers here, so you can just see a little bit of texture in there to add some more detail. Not almost hidden detail, so you can just see it. Um, with these, they are all fading designs. So... That just means that um, each one is fading out to nothing. So very often if we have a stencil, it's a full image. We'll pop it on a card and we don't always want that full image. So we end up having to ink blend and gently fade out to nothing. I've done the work for you here with this stencil. So we've got the falling leaves and the font, the random letters. And then we've also got the distressed damask and the fading dots too. So they are both included with the Magnolia Drive collection. And the last item, which is being launched with Magnolia Drive, but this is actually uh, not a Magnolia Drive item. This is going to be suitable for absolutely any collection, any product that you want to use. And these are my Sentiments for All paper pack. I'm in love with these. I'm using them all the time. It's something I've wanted for a very, very long time. So there's four different designs. Each word that you've got here is in black and in, in white as well. So you don't have to choose, do I want you know, black or white? You've got both there to suit your project. You've actually got 20 sheets, so each design you've got five of them. Um, you've got things like, you're so beautiful with me. Life with you is just amazing. You mean the world to me. Uh, just a note to say hello. You can do anything, but not everything. So sorry this is late. Uh, small things make a big difference, dare to dream, today is a good day, just a note, I think, what do we have earlier, just a note to say hello, but then we've got just a note, made for you with love, you deserve this, uh, we've got all of it, like I said, the same words in reverse in the black and white, uh, wild at heart, stay strong, new baby, congratulations, keep smiling, celebrate, enjoy the process, there's so, so much there, honestly, you're going to find something for every single occasion, you can snip into them, um, you can use them on your gel plate as well, things like that, because they've got that perfect sort of print on them to do your um, your gel plate transfers. You'll just absolutely love these. You can see how I have literally been using them on every card here, both in black and in white. Um, let's see some more. So we've got one there, Sending Love. We've got flowers just for you at the top. This is your day there. And... Uh, Hello, my darling. There, so lots and lots that you can really be playing with with the Magnolia Drive collection. So I hope you love this as much as I do. Keep tuned to my channel. I'm going to have loads and loads of different, um, lots and lots of tutorials, lots of projects using all of these coming up very, very soon because I've got so many techniques that I can show you using everything. So please do subscribe if you haven't already and check out below the link that will guide you to where you can browse and if you want to where you can purchase everything that I've just shown you. So thank you for joining me and I'll see you again very soon. Bye bye.